morning you guys welcome back to my channel today if you're new here welcome my name is Kim and if you're not welcome back so today I haven't done one of these videos in so long but today's Sunday we're going to be meal prepping all day so this video is going to be a keto friendly and low carb meal prep video so we're gonna do breakfast snacks lunch and dinner all in one video i'm gonna try not to make this too long i'm gonna you know get right into it show you guys like what i'm making for the week um and like how i'm doing it and how many calories and net carbs are in each my last video was a keto and low carb video and if you guys have been watching for the last month or so now you guys know that i've been doing low calorie and i've been finding a lot of success in being on a calorie deficit counting my calories tracking calories and not caring like too much about carbs so i've just been focusing like high protein low calorie however my last video i jumped on the scale that next morning and had a scale victory from doing the keto and low carb and maybe other factors played into it too but for the most part i was very happy by the results so i think for this one week i'm just going to be doing low carb and keto and yeah i'm going to meal prep and show you guys like what I'm gonna make and what I'm gonna eat so I hope you guys enjoy this video right now it is 1130 so I'm still gonna be intermittent fasting as usual I usually break my fast around 12 um, and then my last meal is usually before 6 o'clock so I'll probably have a meal every day like 12 o'clock like 2 30 ish and then like 5 30 ish that way I'm in my window of eating so I found a lot of success in intermittent fasting and I don't know, maybe it doesn't work for everyone, but it works for me, and um, yeah, that's why I'm sharing, you know, everything that I do. So yeah, let's go in, let's make breakfast. Alright guys, so this is my meal prep for the week. I'm gonna have one today, so we're just gonna make three breakfast lunches and dinners. Um, so I'm actually gonna throw this in the refrigerator. Some people throw it in the freezer, but I know that I'm gonna eat mine pretty quickly this week. So we're gonna throw this in the refrigerator, but that was just very easy and just in the morning, if I wanna have breakfast, I can just grab it, open it, and then put it in the microwave, and then breakfast will already be done. So breakfast is done okay guys we're gonna make our chicken or chipotle chicken marinade so i have chicken thighs here that i haven't cleaned or anything yet um this is what you'll need chipotle peppers and adobo sauce garlic and either a lime or a lemon um and then we're gonna blend everything all up so i'm just gonna use one can because these are a little spicy and there's a lot of chicken so this is like it evens out it's perfect All right guys, I got this big pack of boneless, skinless chicken thighs from Sam's Club. It was only $16 
and it's huge. So we're probably just gonna use about like maybe three fourths of it and then like save some, but we'll see. Let's get these cleaned and cut and we'll get them marinated. I'm gonna season the chicken. Here's some avocado oil. All right, we've got our usuals, salt, garlic powder. And remember, I'm seasoning a lot because there's a lot of chicken here. This is Montreal chicken seasoning. Pepper. And the reason I'm seasoning it, so I made this maybe a few months ago and I did not season my chicken. I just marinated it with the sauce and it came out good, but I can tell it was missing the seasoning. So this time I'm choosing to really heavily season the chicken. Add some paprika. All right, so we've got our chipotle marinade here. And this is only one can, you guys. Add some water. Okay, I'm gonna put some foil on, let it sit in the fridge for a few hours, and then tonight I'll show you guys what we're having. But Okay, so now that we are marinating our chicken for dinner tonight, we are going to make lunch. So I wanna emphasize that although I am doing low carb keto this week, I am still prioritizing my protein. Protein is so important to me. I don't know what happened in the last few months, but like just me reading and watching so many things, protein is so important for you guys. No matter what diet you're on, what you know lifestyle you're living, protein is so important. So I just wanna let you guys know, try to get as much protein as you can throughout the day because it's gonna help you in the long run. So yeah, so this lunch is very, very high in protein and it's low carb. So yeah, let's go ahead and start making our lunch meal prep. All right guys, so for our lunch today that we're gonna meal prep for the week, we're gonna start off by using this Angus beef bajita, bajita fajita beef so uh, we're gonna actually throw this in the air fryer just so um, I don't dirty dirty too many dishes and it is just easier and I don't have to do much so in the air fryer for this one though since it is steak we're gonna use this Montreal steak seasoning just to give it lots of flavor all right, so then we're gonna throw this in the air fryer for maybe 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll check on it and then we cannot forget to boil our eggs. More protein. And guys, I am always drinking my water. I fill my Stanley cup two times a day. There's 40 ounces in this tumbler, so about 80 ounces-ish a day, and I always try to finish two of these. Okay guys, this is 15 minutes. So we're gonna throw it back in for another five minutes. I just wanted to give it a nice little stir here. All right guys, so this is the Caesar salad kit from Sam's Club we're gonna be using for our lunch meal preps. This is my favorite, it comes with croutons, cheese, and Caesar dressing. I'm not gonna be using the croutons this week because we're trying to keep it low carb and keto friendly. I also have three little cucumbers here that we're gonna add in. So one cucumber per salad. This is gonna be like our little crunch that we have. So we're gonna add one, two, Three, whoop, three. And then we have three eggs. Obviously one egg per bowl. All right, so. All right, we have our Parmesan cheese here. But last thing we're gonna add, three tomatoes. 
These are cherry tomatoes. And then honestly, you can use whatever dressing you want. I do have two of these. I'll probably pack it, um, one of each. And then the third one, maybe I'll use a different ranch or a different dressing. But yeah, these are my meals for this week's lunch. So easy little lunch here. Will definitely keep me full with so much protein. Just a quick steak salad. And then let's just top it. And then we'll throw it in the fridge. Okay, so now that lunch is done, I'm not gonna have lunch today because I'm still really full from breakfast this morning. Um, so I'm not gonna have lunch today. I'll skip that and just maybe have like a big dinner. So in a few hours, we'll go ahead and start making our uh, dinner. I have the Chipotle chicken marinated in the fridge there. It's been about, what, like four hours. So it's gonna be nice and juicy when we make them. But, oh, we have to do our snacks. We cannot forget our snacks. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm gonna have for our snacks. So for my snacks this week, since we're keeping it keto friendly and low carb, we are gonna pack one keto bar and one Nola bar. So these are some of my favorite, favorite bars. This one is my absolute favorite, the coconut chocolate chip. There's 140 calories and about three grams of carbs per bar. So what I'm gonna do is just take like a little baggie. I'm gonna add one Nola bar and one keto bar and I'm just gonna throw it in the bag, take it with me to work and this will be my snack for the week. So lucky for you guys, Perfect Keto's running a two day 40% off flash sale on your first month subscription to Nola, Mallow, and Perfect Keto bars. These bars make super convenient snacks or grab on the go breakfast if you're looking to manage your weight and give your blood sugar some TLC. And because of the top shelf, oh so clean ingredients, you'll get sustained energy without the sugar crash that comes with other snack bars. So when you subscribe to Perfect Keto's MVP Malo Munch Bars, Nola Bars, or Perfect Keto Bars, you'll save 40% off your first month, score free shipping every time, and you will never run out of clean keto snacks. Plus, you save 20% of all subsequent months. You can pause, skip a month, or cancel your subscription easily at any time. Check out my description box for more details and get your keto bars today. Use my link and use the code RAISETHEBAR40. Make sure you're using a pan that you don't really care about because your pan will get like sticky, icky, hard to clean, but you do wanna get this like nice black crust whenever you flip it over, just like the real Chipotle. <laughs> You can do so many things with this chicken, guys, whether it's like chicken bowls, chicken salad, eat it with rice or broccoli. You can make like a little wrap. You can actually make like buffalo chicken dip. There's so many things you can do with chicken thighs, especially when they're already seasoned like this. So good to have in your fridge. And I'm gonna pair it with cauliflower rice and broccoli. So we're trying out the chicken and I'm sorry I'm filming on my phone because my camera ran out of memory anyway. So, where's the camera? There it is. We're gonna try. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious, sorry, I licked my fingers on camera. I know, I'm sorry, it's that good. I just love chicken thighs. I feel like, yes, they're probably a little bit more in calories because they have more fat on them, but it is worth it. They're so good, it's juicy. So much flavor. Mm. Mm. So good. Oh, there's the rice. So I did roast some broccoli in the air fryer and I mix it in with the cauliflower and broccoli rice. I'm adding about half a cup 
to each container and then about one full cup of the chicken. I'm leaving it like this because some days I might wanna add maybe sriracha or spicy mayo. The next day maybe I'll add like sugar-free barbecue sauce. The next day maybe I'll throw everything and put it into like a little wrap. So um, I'm not gonna, you know, eat it just like this, but I'm keeping it in like this. <laughs> That way I have options throughout the week. So this is just the quick and easy dinner prep that we hey guys, have. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys were able to get a little bit of inspiration for low carb and keto friendly meal prep ideas for the week. I still am going to film this week because I only made three because I'm going into the office three days this week. So the other two days I will film when I eat in a day, keto and low carb. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Just watch me breaking